Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Scratch. So what we'll be doing today in our platforming game is showing you how to add on more levels than two. So we're going to add on the beginning of a third level and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing you can need to do is to make a variable to keep track of what level you're on so that we can later check against it to make sure that things happen as they should. So in your case you're going to come over to set and you won't have level yet so you're going to have to click on my variable and rename variable so it will come up as my variable and you'll rename that to level once you've got it renamed to level make sure it is selected and we basically want it to start on level one so we just push that to level one and all we're simply doing is we're going to say when the green flag is clicked um, set it to level one okay straightforward. Now the next thing we need to do is basically change the level when we change screen. So this is the code we wrote earlier on in our um, coding of the game. So we're just going to modify this block here. So find this one in your code and this is what we're going to modify next. So we're going to come back down to variables and this time we want to change the level by one because you change screen, you can be on level two, no longer on level one. We also want to stop the script because otherwise it's going to be forever broadcasting the next level broadcast and you know we don't want that to happen. So we're going to go and stop that script once we've run it once. So to do that we just drop this one in here and rather than stop all we click on stop this script. So we now have the basics. Now what we'll next need to do is build a block of code to handle um, what happens you know, if you're on level 2 already. So as so often in these tutorials we'll start with a when green flag clicked and then a forever block and now we'll have an if. So this is going to be a relatively long piece of code so what we'll need to check is if the level is equal to 2 first so to make sure we're on the second level. So we drag one of these in, go over to my variables and select the level. And it starts off with a default value of 50, so we just change that to 2. So that will check if the level is equal to 2. But we also need to check is, is he at the edge of the screen? So we can do that by checking if his X position is greater than 138. Um, sorry, 238. 240 is the edge of the screen, so we're going to check just before we hit the edge of the screen. So we'll go back to operators, get the greater than, and then go and get the X position. So that's the X position of our player. Drop that in there, and then say, is it greater than 238? So just before we hit the edge of the screen. Now basically, these two things need to be true for us to want to move on to level 3. So we're going to use an AND for this. So we drop the AND in here and we're going to say if our level is equal to 2 and the X position of the player is about to go off the screen then we want to now set up a new broadcast. So we come along, find the broadcast script here, drop it in and we want to broadcast level 3. For you, you'll have to make a new message and you know call it level 3 because we're moving on to level 3. Okay, good. So we've got a broadcast in action. Next, we need to reset our player to this side of the screen uh, because otherwise he'll appear sort of back at this side of the screen, which we don't want. So we're going to put our player in the correct position again. And to do that, we want minus 240 and about minus 48, give or take. That will set him back onto the left hand side of the screen. And we also want to change the level by one again because now you're no longer on level two, you're on level three. So we go back to the variables and change the level by one. Now we've almost got it working now. The last thing we need to do is have another platform for him to run. And eventually we'll obviously want lots of other things as well. So to get this platform here, all I did was right click on this and duplicate and then I changed a little bit of code in here. So <clears throat> obviously we want the level 3 platforms to hide when the game begins. 
we want it to hide if you've won the game. Um, when you, if you die, you know, jump on the spikes or something silly, you want it to hide as well. So when the game over broadcast is um, there, you want it to hide. However, when we receive the level three broadcast, we obviously want it to show. And we want it to go back one layer so that the player appears in front of it rather than behind. All right, let's see that in action. So I'm going to run across. Here we go. Try and avoid the spikes. Just about. There you have it. So we now have three levels to the game. Now, obviously, you can use what you've learned from this, and you can, you know, duplicate a few more of these. You can use this as your base code um, because this will all just work. So now I could duplicate another one. Um, you know, put it over here maybe for him to jump on. I could put, you know, lava shooting up from here. Whatever I fancy. So there you have it, that's how to get as many levels as you want in your game and you can keep on expanding this to get you know as many levels as you require. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time, bye for now.